Welcome to the first video in how to blow dry your hair and give yourself a salon style finish. I'm going to start showing you the tools that you're going to need. So we're going to be blow drying long hair, like my kind of length or longer, medium hair, so we're talking about this kind of length, and also short hair, so very short hair, um, even kind of like little short bobs here. So we'll do all of that. The tools, tools that you're going to need vary depending on your hair length. Let's start with the long hair. The long haired people, a bit of hair in there. You're going to need a paddle brush. This is not so much for volume, but it's for smoothing out hair. So if you were blow drying your hair and getting it um, smooth, you're going to drop the hair in this and you can see you can dry dry it nice and smooth like that. It's also good just for brushing your hair. It's a good hair brush if you've got very thick hair to get right the way through. When you're looking for a paddle brush, you want something with really soft um, pins in it, bristles, whatever. And you want it to be a little bit spongy like this. You want it to have some give. You can get these in bristle as well. So you need one of these, that's for your length. And you also need a very large radial brush. This is what's going to give you the volume. And you don't, don't be tempted to get one of these, although you could get one of these for the very ends. They're more um, difficult to get out of your hair, so it's easy to kind of wind it up too much and get it caught. So if you've got long hair, these are not too bad for medium length hair ends, but they're not for long hair. So medium length hair, you need one of these for the volume, one of these for the ends. You can see the size of these. What to look for when you're getting a brush is you want it to have uh, a really nice smooth coating, especially one that conducts the heat. These are nanothermic uh, ceramic, ceramic um, kind of coated, and they conduct the heat. So when you're smoothing the brush through your hair, rolling it, it actually acts like a straightener as well and smooths it out, smooths out any short hairs. <clears throat> this is the same. So you need two of those. <clears throat> it's for the medium length hair. If you have short hair, depending on the length, I would still have two brushes. Now these do look a bit bad about because I've had these probably my whole hairdressing career and these are made by Pro Tip. I like these because they're anti-static. These little brushes. Um, I can't, they've got a funny name, I can't think what they're called. Uh, they're cricket brushes, <laughs> that's right. So a little tiny one like this, this is really quite small. This is for short hair, like a little pixie cut or slightly longer, and one of these. So it's the same kind of principle. This is for the volume and this is for the ends. For extension ladies that are blow drying their hair, you're going to need your extension brush. You can get these kind of bristle uh, soft brushes in a radial as well, so you can use those. The main thing is that you don't pull the bond too much. So if you are blow drying very long hair extensions, you want to just support the bonds with your hand. I'm also gonna be showing you how to set your hair. So using Velcros, uh, heated curlers, and also I'll be giving you some ideas on how to use one of those uh, brushes that blow out the hot air as well, like a hot air brush. The products that you need are, you're thinking of fixing the first problem you have. So if your hair's flat and you're gonna need some volume, you want either a volumizing mousse or a spray. If you've got fine hair, I would go for a mousse because it will give you extra oomph. If you've got a lot of uh, thick hair, probably a spray. It's either or either, but I just always find that the mousse gives the fine hair a little bit more hold. It's the hold that you're looking for, really. If you have a very frizzy, uh, damaged hair or just naturally frizzy hair, you want something that smooths. So something that coats the hair and gives it a little bit of smoothing. I almost forgot this. You'll see this in a lot of my videos. This is a Tangle Tease. It's good for back combing. It's really good for sectioning. It's got a nice long point on it. 
So I'm going to show you some simple sectioning that you'll need just when you're blow drying or when you're using the strainers. You also need two, possibly four sectioning clips. Uh, don't skimp with these, get some decent ones. These are YS Park, but as long as they've got as long as they've got some good grip on them. I'm going to show you uh, two types of sectioning that we always use in hairdressing. So if you follow any other my, of my other videos, you'll see that I'm always using this. So this really simple one I'm gonna show you, we call this hot cross bun, and this is from um, the nose all the way to the nape. You can do it in your parting. That will give you two halves. Keep one half and then you make another section and you take it just at the top of the ear and this will give you your four sections. So if you're going to blow dry, I would get it into four sections to start with. Let's just clip these in there. You're going to start with your hair about 90% dry. I would recommend that you wrap your hair in a microfiber towel or turban to let a lot of the water uh, drain out first before you start. It will make it so much easier and stop you uh, getting tired arms, which is usually, you, I think people quite often uh, do part of their hair and get it all nice and then they get fed up and they just give it a blast with the dryer. So that's one of the things that we want to avoid. Now, I'm not going to blow dry Ingrid today, I'm just going to show you the sectioning and we will go on to the blow dry in the next video. But I want to just show you how I section uh, for blow drying but also for when I'm doing the hair straining because I'm always doing it into the camera and you never really see the back. So when I say a two inch section, I'm thinking about like this. You can do this by feeling at the back of your head. Get the hair that you're not blow drying out of the way. Whoops. Let's try that again. Out of the way. You can use your tail. Or you can just put your finger in there. As long as it's roughly there. Okay. Now you're going to start on this underneath piece of hair unless you have a fringe. If you have a fringe, you're going to blow dry the fringe first because you know how they stick out. The same if you've um, wrapped it in a microfiber towel, just let your hair, your fringe come down first so that it doesn't, it's not sticking up. <clears throat> so you're going to start with the underneath. If you want extra volume in your hair, I'm going to show you a way to finger dry the roots of your hair to get some volume in before you get to this point, but we'll cover that in the next video. So start on your underneath piece of hair. Remember that this is 95% dry, and you're going to concentrate on taking, move the dryer up and down. You want to keep the dryer pointing down. You don't want to blow it up this way and blow all the tiny hairs out. The, the thing that you want to do to get the shine is to keep it as smooth as possible. So if you imagine that, say you didn't brush this and you just put the hair in anyway, the hair would dry around the bristles like that. So the idea is to get it as smooth as you can. These sort of brushes, because they're big, you can roll it all the way up and just dry this. Keep having a check. You might want to move it down a little bit and carry on drying. If you need lots of volume, just extend the brush up. The higher you take the brush, um, the more volume that you're going to get. I will be blow drying uh, completely from wet in the next video, but I wanted to just show you these uh, easy fixes that you can use right now. If you have a lot of baby fluff in your hair, or your hair just goes fluffy or it's really boofy and you don't want volume, you can, rather than putting your brush in this way, if you want a something like a Kim Kardashian uh, glass blow dry, put your brush in the other way, so downwards, 
like this, get in there, and blow the dryer through the hair. Just keep brushing it down like this. And what that does is pushes all the baby hairs into the main body of the hair and you'll get a completely glass finished blow dry. You need slightly smaller sections for that if you wanna do a glass blow dry. So probably half inch sections. It is quite a long job and it's better if you want to do that kind of glass blow dry is to do it on uh, maybe a jaw length bob or something like that otherwise it does take quite a long time so you know what tools you need the type of products how dry to get your hair and how to section so you're pretty much ready to go make sure you've got those tools ready for the next video and we'll start the blow dry